Hey, it's Hawkin with TopDon. Today we're going to do a video on tech tips on the stable voltage supply or programming power supply enabled chargers such as the TopDon T120A, the TopDon T90000, and the TopDon T30000. Each one of these tools, these tech tips are going to help you extend the life of your product, get the maximum performance, and have the least errors that you can when you are using them on a vehicle. So let's go ahead and get into our tech tips now. So here are the tools we're going to talk about today. Again, we're talking about the Tornado 90,000, the Tornado 120A, and the Tornado T30,000. So for the things we want to talk about today on the video, as you can see behind me here, we want to remember that all of the Tornado units have a fan installed internally. That fan needs to be allowed to run after we use the tool, before we shut the tool off and disconnect the power. So we're going to show you just a quick demonstration here of that on the T120A, just so you can see what we're talking about. So we'll go ahead and we'll show you that. Again, we want to remember that after we finish any operation using any of the Top Don Tornado T30,000, T90,000, or T120A, it is absolutely crucial that we let the fan run until it completes its cycle. Once the fan switches off, then we can remove AC power from the Tornado unit or turn the unit all the way off. So now, let's talk about the different outlets that we can plug the unit into. Now this part of the video applies to the USA and Canada. It may be different in different regions of the world where they have different power outlets. So keep in mind, this part of the video is specifically designed for USA and Canada users. That being said, there are two different types of outlets that can be found commonly in the USA and Canada when we are talking about the standard 110, 120 voltage range outlets. So, on our first slide here, we can see a standard 15 amp approved outlet. These outlets are designed to handle, in reference to the Tornado 90,000 and 120A, up to 80 amps of current. So if you are working on a project with a vehicle, and you are not going to exceed 80 amps of current, you can go ahead and you can connect them to this style outlet. If, however, you expect that the amperage requirements of the job you're doing, such as programming a European vehicle or a very new vehicle with a lot of electronics on it, it's important to understand you will need to switch to this style outlet. This style outlet, as you can see here, has a prong in the picture right here that is horizontal as well as vertical. That indicates that this outlet should be designed connected to a 20 amp breaker circuit. Again, we want to understand there's a difference here when we go to the fuse block. There's a 20 amp breaker and a 15 amp breaker. You want to make sure you are connecting to a 20 amp breaker and outlet like this, if you are going to exceed 80 amps of current on your Tornado 90,000 or your Tornado 120A. It's also important to keep in mind here, you want to make sure this outlet is wired to a 20 amp breaker before you proceed. It is possible someone has installed this outlet and installed it connected to a 15 amp breaker. So Just because you see this outlet does not mean that you are guaranteed it is wired to a 20 amp breaker. Verify that you are wired to a 20 amp breaker by plugging in a device to this, something like a light or a, a radio or something that you can 
find out if it's off and go to your breaker box and switch off the breakers until you find whichever one turns off this outlet. Once you know, you can verify if that breaker is a 20 amp breaker or a 15 amp breaker. So now, let's talk about wire gauge. When we look at the Tornado 30,000, the Tornado 90,000, or the Tornado 120A, each of those units has a cord coming out of it that plugs into the wall. The gauge of that cord must be matched with the extension cord if you are using an extension cord. The extension cord must be the same gauge or fatter than the cord coming out of the Tornado unit. This is absolutely crucial to avoid performance issues or potential fire risk due to a too thin or too small of a gauge extension cord. Another tech tip we want to make sure we keep in mind here is before we initiate stable voltage supply mode on any of the Tornado units for programming, key on engine off diagnosis, ADOS calibrations, or wheel alignments, we need to make absolutely sure we pre-charge the vehicle battery first. Now all of your Tornado units, the T30,000, the T90,000, and the T120A are fully capable of recharging the battery before you place the tool into supply mode for, again, any of those functions such as ADOS calibration, programming, key on engine off diagnosis, or wheel alignment. Thanks again for taking the time to watch our tech tip video on usage tips for the Tornado 30,000, 90,000, and 120A. These tips, again, were designed to ensure the greatest reliability, performance, and longevity for all of your Tornado stable voltage supply chargers. Please like, subscribe, and share the video anywhere on social media where you feel it would help other users. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And as always, I'm Hawkin with Top Don. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.